Hi guys, um, as you can see I'm stood in front of my wardrobe today as one of my friends suggested that I did a dress collection video because I have a lot of dresses and um, my style is quite rocky alternative. I don't exactly know what label to put myself under but a lot of the people who do these kind of videos are quite girly and it's not anywhere near as much black. As you can see I have a lot of black dresses. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick run through of my dresses. There is not all of them in this collection. From what I can think of, there's at least three missing. I say at least because I can't remember. Actually, I think there's four I can think of. Um, two are lacy. One is entitled the Gothic Dolly dress, which sadly is not in the wardrobe at the moment. One is just a plain black lacy dress. Um, in fact, there's another lacy one. One is mainly black all over but with a lacy patch at the top and one is velvet with like little jewels on the top actually I think I've worn it in another video and one is all velvet um, with long sleeves and it's all black they're all black that are not in my collection at the moment so from what I can think of there's five dresses missing there may be more. I'm, I'm trying to look around to see if I see any laying around in my room. But no, I think that's it. So um, I'm just going to crack straight on with it and show you the dresses that I have currently in my wardrobe at the moment. Um, I'm just going to start from one end and go to the other. So first of all, in my wardrobe, you've already seen this if you've seen my whole video, is my lace dress that I recently bought from H&M. And it's got the like high collar part of it and it's quite a mini dress and attached to the back of it because I have so many dresses and not enough hangers is this like sparkly red tie-dye dress it's it's really old my friend bought me this for like my 18th birthday I think it was and um, it's just a simple strappy number which is red tie-dye with sparkly bits and then it's got like the little frilly bits at the bottom and then um, that one's best to be worn with like thick leggings or tights main I'd say leggings over tights and probably shorts because it does tend to be very very short um, so that's that one then next along I have this black starry like mesh dress it's like quite see-through it's got a thicker layer at the front and then it's like more see-through at the back and this is by AX Paris and then on the back I also have another dress attached to this one on the back because like I say I have so many and this is a gold and black lacy dress from New Look and it's just got strappy shoulders and it's again quite a short mini dress those ones. Next we have another black lacy one but this one is a skater style dress and um, it has three quarter sleeves and this is from New Look but it's the designers at New Look. I have a lot of dresses from designers at New Look. Um, the next dress again if you've watched my whole video you've seen is my Simone Simmons costume dress um, and I got this from H&M and it's got the netted panels on the side and the bra fitting in the front. Um, next along I have this little cardigan thing that I like to wear with plain black strappy dresses or with like vests and skirts just to smarten it up a little bit just to like little smart bolero that's the word I'm looking for. And it's lace again. There's a theme to my clothes. And that was from a store called International, which I think is shutting down now, and I've had that quite a while. Um, next, because it won't stay on normal hangers, I've had to just hang it like this, is a velvet dress from New Look with three quarter sleeves. And um, me and my friend went to a gig both wearing this dress without realising so we looked like weird matching people. 
bit awkward. Um, the next dress is from Next, and this is like a job interview dress for me. It's just plain black, but it's quite like dipped, so I like to wear this with a blouse underneath, so you can see all the blouse in it, and it's just quite smart, formal, and plain. So I've worn this, like I say, for job interviews and for like smarter occasions. The next dress a friend gave me and sadly my dad's washing machine has ruined the sleeve a little bit. I don't know if you can see it's all like gathered and chewed by my dad's washing machine. So I'm hoping I can somehow make this wearable again. But it's sparkly velvet and it's from boohoo.com. Um, next... Oh. May as well show you a picture up now. The next is my Edward Scissor Hands costume dress, which was bought online. I'm not sure from where from because I didn't buy it, but the rest of my costume is in a carrier bag, waiting to be sorted out because I haven't worn my costume for so long because it got covered in face paint from my friend. Um, the next dress is this absolutely lovely number. I haven't worn this very much. I got it for my last birthday and it's sequined gold and black and it is from the designers at New Look again and it's quite a mini one and it's got the cut out at the back. I really like that dress. Next one, um, I actually got this from the shop where I work. I work in a fashion store in the day and um, it's this tartan print midi dress as you can see it's very long got that from the shop where i work i don't think it'd be much use to you knowing the name as it's only where i live and um, the next dress is plain black with chiffon sleeves and then gold beading around the top and this is from matalan i think it's from there like version of designers at new look but like designers at matalan kind of thing next dress is from lipsy and it's black with purple um like flame kind of pattern and they're glittery i'm sure you can see that and it's got like this little um gathered bit at the side which makes it like this it makes it have this little bit here that's like a crossover the next dress is my purple velvet boob tube dress and this also has the same kind of ruffledy bit at the side with the crossover um but like i said it's a boob tube and it's got a zip all down the back um i'm not sure what show it's from this was from a shop in hull and I don't remember the name of it or anything, but it was on sale for £7. So I was like, I'm having that. The next one was a gift from my auntie. And it's lacy at the top with like ruffled pattern on the bottom. And it's got like a little bit at the back where you can tie it into a bow. The next one I got from Where I Work Again. And it's this little summer dress. This is my newest dress. And it's flowery with a black and white pattern, like a check pattern. And then it has a lace belt in the middle, which is see-through. You can see, like, a bit of skin. But it's not, like, too risky. I couldn't, like... I wouldn't be getting myself out if I wore it. Um, next one, I'm... Um, doesn't even fit me anymore, but I keep it for memories. This is my prom dress. And I got this from a um, boutique in Whitby. Again, I can't remember. It was a long time ago when I went to prom. But it's purple corset with black lace and then just a black netted skirt. Um, then I have this little summer dress again and it's polka dot and it's like silky material with like the tie up bits for straps or you can wear it without any straps and just tuck them into the dress i got this from a shop in leeds again not a like major 
chain and I think this was on sale for like five pounds or something super cheap. Um, next is a blouse that I would wear with said job interview dress from Matalan and I have another one that's my other job interview blouse. Um, I'll just quickly get by then. The next one I got for my 21st birthday and this is um, from a, a like specialist scoff shop where I live and it's a criminal damage one I think, am I right? No, nope, Living Dead Souls and it's purple with black lace bits and the material is like silky again and it's got like a little corset bit in the front and then it stretch it back and this is actually way too big for me now it just hangs on me I, like I said in a previous video I've lost a lot of weight since I was 21 but I keep it because of the memories and the fact that it was very expensive and it was a gift from my mum so it, it does hold you know a special place in my heart so I do keep it and I try to wear it for fancy dress even though it's too big I try and make it work um, the next dress is again from AX Paris and it's like a jumper on the top and then starry chiffon at the bottom and this is like a, a fall dress like if I'm going to go for a meal with my family or something like that in the fall this would be the kind of thing I'd wear so it's super comfy but it gives it that little bit smart edge with the skirt on the bottom which makes it a dress um, another summer dress now. This one is from International. Again, I think it's closing down. It's having, ours is definitely having a huge closing down sale. I don't know if it's a countrywide thing. Um, and it's cream, but it looks white on my camera. But it is definitely like a yellowy cream colour with like little buttons on the back and then the little bows on the front and a belt attached. This is attached to the dress and it's all lace. Very pretty, very flowy, nice for summertime. I like that a lot. Next one is entitled My Dubstep Dress by one of my friends because it's pink and I do not buy pink. And my friend was like, The dubstep is getting to your head because I used to go out with a guy that liked dubstep quite a lot. Um, so that is this one. It's from New Look. Again, it's the designers at New Look range. And it's got navy birds flying on it, but it, it is pink. It doesn't really look very pink. It looks more beige, but it is pink. I promise you it's pink. That's that one. Next one, again, a black lace one. It um, comes to a V point in the middle. It's got like a, a ruchy gavry bit, and it's long and flowy at the bottom. It's quite princessy. And um, this is from Select, I think. Yes, this is from Select, which, again, I think they they might be shutting down. So many shops shutting down, at least where I live. The next one is from Designers at New Look. There's a theme, and it's just got white lacy sleeves and a white lacy collar. And this is like jumper material again, like the other dress. And then it's got lace on the bottom. Um, the next one I also bought for my 22nd, my, not 22nd, 23rd birthday, eee, getting old, um, and it's from Designers at New Look, and it is all black sequined. It's very similar to the other one that I got, but this one's a bit shorter, and this one has a zip all down the back, unlike the other one that just has the open bit, and it's like more of a pullover dress. Next one is also from New Look, but it's not designed as a New Look one. And it is velvet with gold glitter on it. See that? And it's got a big silky bow in the back and then like a hole. So you can see a little bit of back. Next one is from Designers at New Look. And um, it is black with this silver like um, check it's not checked is it diamond pattern on it in sequins and then it's got like the little ruffles at the side and then it's quite short again I, I tend to go for shorter dresses because I have short legs so you can get the most out of my legs as possible but I will wear all of these with tights 
I don't think I've ever gone bare legged. The next one, I'm not entirely sure where this is from. It could be designed as a new look, but I don't recognise it. Um, and it is this, like, it's black, but then it has like a silvery shimmer on top of it, which makes it look more silver. And then it has beads on the front and big flowers with lace around the flowers. And then it's got like ruffled bottom, a bit like um, a flapper dress. Next one is called my gothic princess dress i got this from a shop that was closing down there's a theme to my dresses either from closing down sales or from designs at new look and um sadly this this shop is long gone now where i live but it was like our alternative place and um it's got like all the ruffled layers of lace and then the little like sweetheart neckline with buttons all down the top very pretty and it, i'm just a bit sad that the shop's gone now that sold this kind of thing um this one was also in my haul video this is my other midi dress just plain purple with like um pvc wet look little capped sleeves and it's from primark and it's midi link um, the next one is from Matalan and it is this blue and black pattern dress and then it's flowy at the bottom and it's got a zip all down the back again. That's that one. Next one is from a store near where my grandma lives which is in Leeds area and um, it's by AX Paris I think. Yeah, it's by AX Paris. And it's like black chiffon with this lacy belt in the middle, kind of like the dress that I got from my work because you can see your skin through it. But this this little one has got all like sparkly bits on it and it has a zip all down the back again. And it's quite short. Nearly there, guys. This is from Matalan again, blue cutout panel dress, as you can see. They're the two panels at the front that are cut out, and then in the middle it's got the blue panel to separate from the black, and then the rest is black. There is a little bit of colour in my wardrobe, I guess. And the last dress that I currently have that isn't in the wash is this military style dress with long sleeves, and it's quite short, and it's got like silver military pads along the sides with chains on it. And this is from Primark. So that is most of my dresses. I can't say all because there's definitely at least five that are not in my wardrobe at the moment. There may be more and I'm forgetting about them. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope it was a good idea. But like I say, a friend asked me about doing one and I thought, well, why not? At least you get to see these things and I guess it's, different from seeing all the girly ones that are usually on YouTube. So thanks guys if you've got this far. Bye.